All right, so we've got our diameter of the output versus the diameter of the input, our uh, angular velocity over our speed of the input over our angular velocity of the output. So let's replace these with some variables that we know. Our D input here is actually the diameter of PSD. Diameter of our output is the diameter of PI4. And that equals our uh, angular velocity of PSD, so this is W PSD over the W of PI4. Once we have that and know which variable we're all talking for, we can substitute. So uh, PI4 uh, diameter here is three and a half inches or 3.5 inches over PSD, which is four inches, equals uh, PSD of 3100 RPM over W of PI4. That's what we're solving for. So I'm gonna come over here, move this up. Uh, w P I four equals uh, 3,100 RPM times four inches divided by three and a half inches. Get my calculator real quick so I can do this because these numbers I can't quite make up and do it in my head. So 3,100 times four divided by 3.5, we get a WPI4 of 3,543. Comes out to 42.857, but we'll just round up to 3,543 RPM. That is what this idler pulley will be rotating. Now, once I know that PI4 is rotating at that, PI1 is also rotating, rotating at that RPM. We're gonna do the same thing going over. I'll do that in a later video so we can determine what uh, PM1 is rotating at, and that will tell us what our motor actually rotates at. So, thanks for watching. We'll come back and solve the rest of this later.